In November 1838, Frederick Chopin and his mistress, Aurora Dudevant, known as George Sand, and her children, Maurice and Solange, went to Mallorca for the holidays. The composer was trying to finish his preludes, Opus 28, and the weather was cold and wet, and <coughs> tuberculosis was acting up, and the house they rented was dark and dingy. This, then, is the story of Chopin's Christmas. <coughs> Would you, would you like me to get you some cough syrup? Cough syrup doesn't do very much for tuberculosis. <laughs> Dear. Well, they say it relieves the symptoms. Depression. Spiritual pain. You're depressed, too? I hate Christmas. I hate cold weather. And I hate this house. What a dump. Why is it that we're always getting fleeced on vacation rentals? Well, it's the early 19th century. You know, what do you expect? This is the worst Christmas of my life. It's me, isn't it? No. It's me and the kids. No, it's Franz Liszt. What a phony. That Liebestraum of his, what a piece of schlock. Chazerai is the word for that. Big jerk goes on stage, pounds the piano in his cape. People think he's a genius. While I'm stuck here in the country, grinding out these <laughs> preludes. Oh. You are so down all the time, Fred. I'm a romantic. Well, that doesn't make it more interesting for the rest of us. Honestly, you just, you just mope all the time. I'm Polish. Romantic. Well, you're not a lot of fun on a vacation. It's a mope, 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 mope. It's all you do. I'm an artist. Moping is how I work. But it's Christmas. Lighten up. Now, what's that song you're playing? This. It's a prelude. You wrote that? Of course. Sounds Christmassy to me. What? Like it could be a wonderful Christmas song if you just put it in a major key. Why not make it cheerful and maybe you've got a hit, Fred? Oh, you could use one. This is a prelude. It's not operetta. It's a piece about life's unbearable beauty and the inevitable losses of the soul. It's Christmas. A day when we long for what we can never have. Our innocent childhoods, the undivided love of our parents, a model train layout. You, you wanted a model train layout? I've always wanted a model train layout with a loader and a station with little lights in it, switches, and a tunnel. Well, I didn't know you cared for model trains. I know you, you didn't know. You knew that I didn't I knew know. that you did not know. Well, if you knew that I didn't know, why didn't you tell me? How could I? Well, you could have said, George, I want a model train layout with a tunnel and station and loader. And switches. And switches. If I had, you might have laughed. Yes. And I think that in some part of myself I knew that if I had a model train, it would soon take the place of music in my life. So you gave up model railroading? Yes. Even though model railroading could make you truly happy? Yes. You gave it up to fulfill yourself as an artist? Yes. Oh, Fred, I could go to Paris and get you a model train. No. It isn't a gift if you have to ask for it. But why have you never bought yourself a model train? You... You've never been Polish, have you? No, of course not. So no, I haven't. Tell me, what did you get me for Christmas? It's a surprise. It's a cape, isn't it? No. It's a cape, I know it. No. It's a tote bag. It's a what? It's a tote bag. You didn't? Yes, I did. 
I already have six tote bags. Oh, well, uh, you can exchange it. Oh. Uh, what did you get me for Christmas? You're listening to it. Oh, boy. Dedicating another prelude to me, hmm? Yes. Just what I always wanted. Three minutes of gloom. This is art, darling, art. You couldn't have picked up a little perfume? This prelude will give you immortality, George Sand. Well, I wouldn't mind having a little less immortality and a little more personal pleasure. Chopin's Christmas, a true story based on actual facts. <laughs>